how scouts in the Dominican Republic are ruining baseball. One, if a scout makes an offer for a talent and the coach of the talent or even just the talent itself or the parent, the family, believe that the kid's worth more money than sacks to be offered, the scout can make it very difficult for that player to be signed by somebody else by spreading rumors, by easily saying, oh, that player is committing dental fraud, he's committing age fraud, he's using performance enhancing drugs. Secondly, scouts are corrupted in the Dominican Republic in a way that is very intriguing. Well, in a lot of cases, if the player comes from an academy that is not very known or well known, odds are the coach will also have to pay the scout to sign his player. Meaning that more money apart from that 50% bonus that the coaches take from the kids once they're signed has to be given to the scouts in order to sign them. Not because of a lack of a skill level. And third, it comes to a lot of situations where a scout places an offer and the player, the family, has no idea about the offer, so they don't take it. The coach doesn't believe that the offer is high enough, so he's going to keep trying this team, that team, that team, affecting the future of the player. This is something that's very common.